Okay, uh, everyone, welcome to Adept Packaging's December Learning Share. Uh, today, our topic is the benefits of building a packaging development center of excellence. For today's presentation, all of our attendees have had their lines placed on mute. If you want to ask a question, you can type your question into the chat box at any time throughout today's presentation. Please be sure to direct your question uh, to me. I've labeled myself Adept Packaging Host, and my name is Daniel. Uh, I'll read them at the end of the presentation. You can also ask a question at the conclusion of the presentation by taking your line off of mute first. Uh, you'll see in a few minutes that the polling function will be active for today's presentation, and we'd love to hear your feedback. The poll will run throughout the duration of the presentation. If you would like us to reach out to you, please be sure to provide your email address in the poll so that we can contact you. Uh, we appreciate all of your responses. Uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to welcome our ADEPT Group founder, Pratik Lal, who will lead today's session. Pratik, Pratik is the visionary behind ADEPT Packaging, and he started the company in 2008. Today, we've grown to be the world's largest packaging consultancy, and today he'll discuss the benefits of building a packaging development center of excellence and ADEPT's approach to centers of excellence. Uh, so at this time, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Pratik. Uh, Pratik, let's get started. Thanks, Daniel. Um, happy to be here and uh, welcome everybody who's called in. I see that the polls, um, the polling questions have been activated. So uh, as we go through the presentation uh, today, feel free to, um, to fill that out. Uh, looking at the list of folks that have called in, uh, um, uh, Lots of folks that um, I'm familiar with and happy to see a lot of folks here that I haven't seen in a little while and um, appreciate you calling in. Hopefully you'll find this interesting. Um, and so uh, we're gonna, um, I'm, I'd like to talk to everybody and kind of share our uh, model for a pack dev or a packaging development uh, center of excellence. Um, I'd like this to be conversational um, so if you have questions as we go along, there's a chat box. Please type your questions in. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, and, you know, if you'd like to uh, chat about something afterwards, happy to do that as well. So uh, why don't we get started? So the flow for today, uh, we have about an hour together. So what I'd like to do is first talk a little bit about what a PACDEF COE is, right? Why should, why is this something that's important? Uh, what does it do and what it is? From there, um, I'd like to um, go deeper into the different elements or components of a packaging development center of excellence. Um, and then finally round it out with some question and answers. Um, so let's get started. Okay. Uh, hopefully everybody can see my screen and the slides that um, we've put together. So that, you know, before we talk about what it is, it's important to talk, spend a little bit of time talking about why, right? Why is this something that we should spend our time and energies on? Uh, what is the value we can accept, expect from it? So a path dev center of excellence is a model for running a packaging department. And the reason to uh, embrace a model like this is because it really accelerates our future competitiveness. It makes the department, uh, people, processes, and systems really well aligned uh, to deliver against this strategy and the, and the goals of the department. So in terms, what can you expect, right? If you operate under this, a model like this? Well, um, you can expect that you will do a lot more work with a much higher level of technical accuracy. So it's gonna be higher quality, faster, um, and overall there will be a much higher level of satisfaction uh, amongst the team. Um, all of these things, when you look at them collectively, they will really help advance uh, the strategic objectives of the department. And so overall, um, there's a number of benefits to be gained um, from embracing a method in a model like this. Um, so what is it, right? What is a... Um, Packaging Development Center of Excellence. Well, uh, like I mentioned before, it is a method or a model 
for running a packaging engineering department. And that's focused on aligning the fundamental aspects of almost all successful organizations. So if you think about successful organizations, um, they're built on the basis of three things, people, systems, and processes. And what a center of excellence does is it addresses each of these in a very fundamental way to strengthen them and then aligns each of these towards the achievement of the, of the department's uh, objective and in turn delivering value to the larger organization that the packaging development department um, is a part of. So let's talk about these three things and, what, uh, and why they're important, right? So um, when you think about a COE, um, especially uh, the ADEPT COE, we approach people, processes, and systems for, these specific, for a number of specific reasons. Uh, most importantly, people, right? We approach people with the belief that people have cognitive ability, right? Um, and a tremendous cognitive ability. We have an ability to apply our intelligence to solve problems um, and to envision uh, solutions. And uh, that's very powerful. The other thing that people are um, very uh, powerful at doing is um, managing interpersonal interactions uh, to achieve results. And so these are the two really important aspects that people deliver to a department. Um, the next one is processes. So the methods with which uh, the work is done within a department uh, is really important because it drives alignment and efficiency, right? If you figure out how to do something uh, one time and then you can get everybody to follow that, um, then overall you end up becoming a lot more efficient and you can focus on improving those processes. Um, and then the last one is systems, right? So if you think about people and processes, um, the way to, uh, a way to unburden those, right, is to use the computing power of, um, of computers or the processing power of computers to really do a lot of the activities and tasks that are repetitive, that can be computerized or automated, so that you unburden the teams to truly focus on those cognitive tasks that add the most value, right? And the interpersonal interactions and collaborations that will really enhance the work product. And so a COE looks at these three assets, right? People, systems, and processes, um, addresses each to make them fundamentally um, stronger, and then aligns them towards um, that common goal. And so that is um, an overall a description or a high level description of what a PAC Dev COE is. Now, before we talk about what the ADEPT uh, model for a COE is, I think it's important to take a pause and to talk about why uh, we have developed this competency, this expertise in uh, developing, building and developing COEs. So uh, allow me to share a personal story. Um, so before I started ADEPT, um, I was uh, at Pfizer and, um, you know, a, quite uh, fresh out of school. And uh, actually my uh, interest in um, running packaging departments and managing um, this function uh, really started from there. And it was while I was there that I started developing and we used uh, some of the elements of uh, improving the way our department was run. Since then, um, you know, started ADEPT and, um, could, but continued uh, focusing on this aspect of, of really thinking about and then uh, working on how do you run a better department? Um, the, uh, the result of that is that we have been uh, engaged in different projects uh, as ADEPT, uh, different projects related to building elements and entire packaging development centers of excellence now for about 10 years. So we've done a number of these projects uh, and we've done them across multiple industries. So as we did uh, multiple projects in one industry, 
And then over time, multiple projects um, across multiple industries, we develop true insight on what makes this function, um, what can make this function more successful. And in turn, how do you improve uh, and refine the centers of excellence and the methodologies and models that you use to deliver better results? Um, you know, and one of the ways that we have done that is to truly think about and focus on the unique characteristics of our function, right? The packaging development function. So I want to take a moment and talk about some of these unique characteristics because understanding what makes us unique allows us to tailor how we work to better achieve uh, or to achieve better results. So if you think about a packaging development function, a few characteristics come to mind. The first is that we are a service organization, right? We don't actually manufacture a product. Instead, what we do is we facilitate the transfer and sale uh, and usage of the product. So we are a service to the other uh, functions within a large organization. The second is um, that we are quite cross-functional. If you think about the work that we do day to day, right? Um, it really includes, it really necessitates that we work with many different functions, right? Manufacturing, supply chain, marketing, uh, finance, man, uh, and, and so forth, R&D. And that is quite unique. 